Good afternoon. George Kivaligos for Naked Trader. Boy, a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, big reversals in all the credit markets. Um, some actually key reversals. Uh, look at the 10 year. Um, new highs for this recent move up, closed lower, and took out yesterday's lows. Um, key reversal, I guess we call that. Um, Euro dollars, bonds, everything put up uh, bearish reversal days today. Start with a small position here again. <laughs> We're going to try this again. We're going to get it right one of these days. Um, looking for a pretty good move here. The 10 year hourly chart. We're in this nice channel. We're bumping up against the high end of the channel over the last couple of days. I think we've stopped out a lot of uh, you know short positions. We saw a big drop in open interest yesterday of more than 15,000. And to see the market sell off right after you see that big drop in open interest tells you that the shorts, at least the weak shorts, are out of the market and the market's vulnerable again here. Um, the auctions are a problem, I think, um, even though the three-year did go pretty well. We saw a lot of curve trades going through today, early in the day. A lot of buyers of the short end, two years, three years, four years, five years were being bought heavily last night and this morning and selling 10s and 30s. Up until the end of the day when we saw somebody take some profits on a 5.30 steepener. It was the first time somebody took some you know, steepeners off all day. Um, a little bit of a disagreement talking to Jack this morning. He's more inclined to be kind of friendly to the front end of the euro curve here. I'm thinking it's more of a curve trade. I don't want to fall in love with any of the financial markets. We've seen some pretty good increases in put open interest in the last week. Um, actually, very striking, maybe record open interest in put open interest in the euro dollars over the last week. Um, my records don't go back that far, but uh, something that we haven't seen in a while where people are actually paying fairly hefty premiums and buying uh, you know puts in the year dollars it's been quite a while um, I don't think that the Fed's gonna start tightening anytime soon maybe the market's gonna tighten for the Fed here we'll see um, that's it right now um, the short small short on the tenure stop above today's high um, technically you're just looking for a new low um, Actually, we're, we're flirting around with the lows right now, around 120 and a half. I think we're going to go and test the uh, a couple of the minor uptrend lines down around 120 even. I wouldn't even think about covering shorts until we got down there. We'll see what happens tomorrow with the 10-year uh, auction tomorrow. We also get uh, some bond auctions starting over in Europe. There's been a lot of focus on uh, sovereign debt in Europe. I believe Portugal, which is the big problem child at the moment, has a debt auction this evening, early tomorrow morning, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, supposedly uh, Japan and China have said that they're going to be interested in buying some of these European debt issues. So we've seen a little bit of uh, that concern be alleviated. And I think that helped push the bonds and the bonds and all the other uh, sort of flight to quality type uh, credit markets lower here today. Check the email. Send out uh, some more info as uh, these things pop up. Have a great night.